Hi everyone. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on my Coach Ace satchel. Uh, I hope you don't mind the change of scenery. I had to use my husband's filming space just because we painted our bedroom. If you saw in my haul of this bag, it's like really dark purple. And so I tried to film this in there and it was just way too dark to showcase the bag. So I'm going to do it down here. It's lighter and hopefully you can see everything then. So we'll just get right into it. So this is the Coach Ace Satchel in Indigo. I picked this up about two weeks ago now, I believe, uh, from the Coach store. It was 50% off, which was awesome. Uh, I know quite a few of you have mentioned to me that your Coach essays have said that this bag is being discontinued. So if you were thinking about picking it up, you're kind of running out of time. Uh, I know it's on sale almost everywhere now as well, so if you are thinking about it, you can get it on a deal, which is awesome. Uh, I do know Purse Blog put out an article about Coach's Spring 2016 line, and I did see, <clears throat> excuse me, pictured in there uh, a mini version of the Ace. It was, I'm gonna guess it's probably about this big. It was so freaking cute. Uh, if I remember, I'm gonna link a link to that article down below if you wanted to have a look at the mini. Uh, I believe it had printed leather on the sides, like, or maybe it was canvas, but it looked kind of looked like a floral print. Don't quote me on that, my memory isn't that good, but that's what I'm recalling when I think about the pictures of that bag. So, the Coach Ace Satchel, uh, mine is an indigo, and now we're gonna get right into it. So this bag is absolutely gorgeous. I am loving it. I actually used it all week last week straight. I didn't switch my bag once, which I can't even remember the last time that I used a bag for that long. So I was really loving this. Uh, the weather also wasn't that great last week. It was snowing, it was cold, and I didn't have to worry about this bag at all. It just worked so well in all the weather. Yeah, all the weather. <laughs> uh, so oh, I highly recommend this bag. Uh, another thing about the leather, because it is a pebble, it's not pebbled, it's a smooth leather, not pebbled. So I was fairly worried about scratches or wear showing on this bag, especially prematurely. But I used it all week. I I don't know. I don't baby my bags necessarily, but I do, I know they're there <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know. But with my normal wear for a whole week, there is not a mark on this bag. It still looks absolutely pristine. So, so far I'm very impressed with the quality of this leather as well. As for outside features on this bag, it has a lot going on. There are so many design elements and features on this bag, but to me it just, it works so well together that you don't really notice how many there are until you start thinking about it. Uh, but first I'll get into the whip stitched handles. So they are whip stitched. Uh, all the way around and they're more of a flat uh, leather handle not so much a rolled leather handle like a speedy so it is more flat which I find them very comfortable so uh, the whip stitching is on both I haven't noticed any fraying or loose edges or threads or anything on the whip stitching which I mean I've only used it for a week so there should not be anywhere on it anyways but in case you were worried about the quality of Coach's whip stitching, it seems to be holding up really well. Uh, and then there is also, on the front of the bag, this little key clochette. So let's make sure. Oh yeah, you can see that. So this key clochette, uh, honestly, it's just a decorative feature. Uh, this turn lock does open and all that's inside is a key ring. So if you want to have double bag charms, you could do that on this bag. Uh, it might look a little dumb, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> uh, you could also put your keys on it, I guess, if you wanted, but they're gonna be like hanging down there and jingle jangling, and I might be worried that if you had keys hanging low on the outside of the bag that it would scratch this leather because they're keys. But you can do whatever you want with your clochette because it's your bag. Uh, you can also take it off really easily. It's just looped through this singular leather thread. Uh, one thing I will also note is when you pick up the bag, the key clochette puts the um, turn lock on the outside and then usually when I set the bag down, I would notice that it would flip. Uh, it just didn't do it so maybe it's not going to do that anymore but I would notice that it would also flip 
to the back of the clochette, which has just Coach New York uh, embossed right there. And I was kind of worried if how this turn lock, like if it would scratch or mark up the leather. And so far, absolutely nothing. It just looks perfect. This leather seems to be a lot more durable than I originally thought it was going to be. So that's fantastic. Uh, back side of the bag features. Oh, I forgot one more thing on the front. Uh, there is also the coach uh, horse and cart, horse and coach emblem just embossed right here. And other than that, that's the only sign of a brand on the outside of this bag. So it's very under the radar brand notification wise. I mean, unless you know what a coach ace satchel looks like, but yes. Back of the bag has just one zipper pocket right here. It, the zipper pocket is quite substantial. You could put, let's see, that was probably loud, but you can put your keys down in there. And it looks a little bulgy, so I might not recommend putting keys in it, but you could put a notepad or your phone or something smooth uh, would be good. I do find this zipper is hard to open and close, uh, maybe because I, see, <laughs> there we go. Uh, maybe just because it's new and I never use this pocket, so I'm really just kind of unzipping it for the first couple times, so maybe it's just a little stiff but I don't find it the easiest to open, but it is there if you want an outside pocket on your bag, it gives you that feature as well. Moving on in the aesthetics. <laughs> on the side, there is this lovely little turn lock closure here, and there are two leather straps. Uh, if you open this, it doesn't do a thing at all. It's just really an aesthetic thing that if you want these hanging open, you can do that. Uh, that is not my personal favorite, so I just leave them done up. And there are two leather straps that come out there uh, from the side that just connect there, just decorative purely. And then there are also these decorative uh, pleats. I don't think they're very pleated. Points, folds, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so it gives it a really nice um, architectural architectural look <laughs> so and that is the same on both ends uh, it's really pretty I love the shape of this bag it's just oh, everything works so well together I find and then from where the zipper is sewn on there is a piece of leather that just continues down through the bottom of the bag and it just hangs there for decoration <laughs> so that I think is all of the architectural <laughs> elements on the outside of the bag. Uh, the bottom of the bag does have four feet and they are sewn on top of this strip of leather. So similar to Dooney's, uh, they have the strip of leather and then the feet sewn on there and it's all in the indigo color as well. So the bag is all one color. There's no different color leathers or anything like that. And then there is one seam. Can you see the seam? There it is, uh, just along the bottom as well. So I think, oh, I forgot one other thing on the outside of the bag. Uh, it does come with a shoulder strap. Uh, it has a, sorry, these are so loud on the table. It does have a comfort pad, so it's more comfortable on your shoulder. And it is the same indigo as the bag. Dog leash clasps attach it on both ends of the bag. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention the hardware on this bag is a brushed nickel and it is just gorgeous. I love how it complements the indigo leather as well. I'm not 100% sure if the brushed nickel is on every bag or if the hardware changes depending on the color of the bag. I'm trying to remember, I know I saw the burgundy in person and I think the hardware was also brushed nickel on that one. But don't quote me on that for the other bags because I don't actually remember. Uh, another fabulous thing about this bag is that the shoulder strap attaches on the ends of the bag so that when you wear it, it holds it up like this. This is honestly, if you're going to use a shoulder strap, the best way to attach it. Uh, it's more, it gives you more room for like your body or your shoulder uh, than attaching it to the handle hardware does, I find. And whenever I carry a sh shoulder strap that's attached to the handle hardware, I honestly get worried about warping the bag because it holds it up 
in an uneven kind of manner, like it wears more on one of the hardwood. I don't, I don't like it. I much prefer if a shoulder strap is attached like this. So that is wonderful. Another wonderful thing about this peg. Um, coach isn't like the word coach isn't stamped on. Oh, it is. I totally lied. It is stamped coach New York just on the downward things. I don't even know what to call these, but that you pull it and the hardware opens. So I really like how under the radar this bag is brand wise. That was really loud. Uh, last thing before I open the bag up, uh, the zipper pulls have leather tabs and then the metal part and then just right in between the metal here, it says Coach New York, just very small. I think it's in embossed in the leather as well. So not embossed in the leather, stamped in the metal. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, so it's just, oh, this bag has just so much that went into it. Um, so it just, it really gives you a big bang for your buck is basically what I'm trying to say. Inside the bag is, oh, it's so dark. <laughs> uh, but it's just, um, I'm going to say like, I wouldn't call it a cotton twill because it's silkier. So maybe a cotton poly blend uh, lining that completely matches the outside of the bag. And it has the word coach just sporadically placed on the lining as well. It's a, not very easy to see because the coach is even printed darker than the lining fabric. So it's not very obvious unless you're really looking for it, but it is like that also in my swagger. And since the lining is lying there, it's a lot easier to see. So for the internal features, you can't, like, honestly, because the lining is so dark, it's almost impossible to film in there. But on the front side of the bag, there is one snap pocket. Uh, it is very substantial. I can fit my fist in it, like about up to here. So you can put your phone in there, keys, and it does, it closes with a snap. If you can hear it there. And then on the back side of the bag, there is one zipper pocket, which is actually more substantial than the uh, snap pocket. There's, it's deeper and I think a bit wider, if that makes sense. Uh, all that I have in that one is the coach care instructions, but so two internal pockets and they are both very ample for internal pockets. And then there is also just the coach creed which again is done in the indigo leather and stamped with gold on the back side of the bag under the zipper pocket. Other than that, this bag is open. A big pit, big dark pit. <laughs> um, one of my complaints with this bag is that the zipper opening is not very wide on its own. If I want to put things in here, I have to maneuver the zipper wider. So if you just wanna shove stuff in, it's, kind of gonna it's I don't know I don't like it if I'm gonna go in the bag I use my other hand to open the opening wider so that nothing is brushing against my other hand just something to note because see we'll show it this way hopefully there we go if I'm if I'm gonna take my Emily wallet and put it in here if I don't stretch it out itself like if I don't open the pocket <laughs> not organized down here and put it in like so it will the wallet will brush against the zipper and I'm very anal about my SLGs touching the hardware on my bags I just don't want them to scratch or nick anything and especially like the button on here the Emily wallet is a peeling nightmare <laughs> uh, so I don't want any help peeling or marking that up with the zipper so just note that you might have to maneuver the bag zipper a little bit wider. However, this bag does hold a ton of stuff. So that's also great. Uh, so my wallet is in there. Phone. Blotting papers and Kleenex. Lip chap and floss. Another pouch. My son's EpiPen keys, which I'm going to stick in the snap pocket. It's hard to open. There we go. And the 
tuck the keys in there. Uh, and I can also fit my book in this bag, and it is like, it's a wider, or wider, longer book than most books that I read. So I can also put this in here easily. It does take a little bit of maneuvering, but then it goes right down in there. And then I don't know if you can see how far down that is, Leota's face there. But there is still room in this bag for more stuff. So here's the dust bag, but if it was a sweater or like a light cardigan, that can go in there no problem. And I could still probably fling a few more things in there. Now, weight wise, it's definitely heavier with all that stuff in there, but it is definitely, I find it to be a lighter leather bag than some of my other ones. Like if I had all of this in my Florentine satchel, my arm would probably fall off. Uh, and also, I noticed after carrying this all week, last week, uh, on one of the days I wanted to switch into my swagger, but after I loaded it up, I looked outside and the weather just, I didn't think it was going to agree with me, so I switched back into this bag and that's good because then it snowed a lot that day, but uh, I definitely noticed when I picked my swagger up after putting all my stuff in that bag, it is definitely way heavier than this bag is. So. Uh, that's another thing to note. It is a lighter full leather satchel than a lot of other ones that I've carried. So it does hold quite a lot of stuff, but like I said, you you, uh, you may have to maneuver the zipper depending on how you are more comfortable putting stuff in your bag. Like I always hold it open. Uh, one other con about this bag that's really not that big of a deal, but it's something I did notice is when I carried it with my winter coat, because it's winter, uh, my coat is kind of, well, it's wool, but it, I don't know, my coat is wool, and sometimes the fibers on my coat would stick to the outside of my bag. Uh, I mean, they just brushed off, but I did notice that this bag seems to attract fibers <laughs> more than my other ones, and it may honestly just be that because this is the smooth leather, I notice it more. Uh, so maybe my coat sticks to all my bags, but it just really stood out to me on this bag. Uh, like I said, you just wipe them off. They don't like cling to it in such a way you have to pick them off with tweezers or anything, but it was something I noticed. Um, but yeah, I think other than that, that is all I wanted to mention about this bag. So Yes, if you want this bag, don't hesitate because they're on sale right now and I do not believe, to my knowledge right now, that they are making any more. So go pick it up. I don't think you'll be sorry. I absolutely love this bag. It is gorgeous. It is so well made. I'm very impressed with the quality of this bag and it's just gorgeous. Uh, the other colors you could get this bag in were burgundy, green, uh, black, and this navy, which is called indigo. Uh, I'm sure the green one has a different name as well, but I cannot think of it for the life of me. Uh, but yeah, you cannot go wrong with this satchel in my opinion. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any other questions about this bag that I didn't cover, please leave them below and I will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, and other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I forgot to mention that I was going to put uh, mod shots in as well at the end, so I'm going to do them right now. And I hope that with the table in the way, and if I stand up, that you guys can see them well enough. But I'm going to do what I can. And yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Lastly, I forgot to add for the mod shots, I am 5'2 and 110 pounds. And for the adjustable strap, I had it on, this is not the buckle. The adjustable strap, I had it on the middle setting. Uh, I think I totally also forgot to mention that this strap is fully adjustable and I believe there are eight holes in total. So I had it on the fourth one from the top. Anyways, that's all. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.